Jiu-Jitsu has been, been something that has turned into a great vehicle that allows me to be able to travel, and I love to travel. I've, I've been fortunate enough to, 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 to visit six of the seven continents. Um, I've been to 24 countries, and um, I've been to 41 of the 50 states, and, and, and a lot of it, 90% 90, 90 of it is because of jujitsu. As long as you maintain a routine of what you do to maintain your, your athleticism and your, your strength conditioning and, and, and to keep your techniques sharp, you're gonna always be able to be ready to no, no matter where you're at. With me tra traveling a lot right now, it's very important that I, I find ways to get my training in. So like this morning, I'm in California, I have a strength and conditioning coach that I go to. I, I, I see him as much as I can. I, I, I get all my, you know, my strength, my, my speed, and, and my just overall physical therapy that I need to be able to keep me uh, all my my limbs and, and everything on point so that when I'm competing, I'm, I'm sharp as can be. <laughs> The first Polaris bro was amazing. You know, I originally was supposed to compete against Daniel Strauss, and unfortunately he, he had a knee, knee injury, but um, Ollie Geds stepped in and, and, and took the match, which Ollie and I had a, had a lot of history in terms of competitions. We've competed against each other five times, and um, I, I never was able to get the submission with Ollie. I would rack up a lot of points, and or you know maybe even a couple matches was just a super close match, um, but never ended in a submission. So that was something I was really, really going for in, at at my first you know in, in my matchup in the first show that I had it with Polaris. And straight after Agazar Miguel and off the takedown immediately. Well, unlike a tournament where it's the, the IBJJF. You're going out there and you're producing a show for the fans. And you do the same thing in a competition, but you have more than just one match to take into consideration. Um, and, and the people of, of Europe, in, in, in my experience, are very passionate about jiu-jitsu and they really enjoy jiu-jitsu entirely. No matter what team you are, no matter where you're from, they just, they, they're very passionate about seeing just jiu-jitsu. And it's, it's my favorite place to compete. And, um, you know, I was able to get get the win in uh, in in, in uh, Cardiff this this first event, and now I'm uh, for this event I'll be competing with Daniel Strauss um, as it was originally scheduled for the first event. He's a much bigger opponent, but all of us know that jujitsu it doesn't really matter the size; it just matters the, the the technique. You know, I think. I think just jujitsu fans in general really like to see a mismatch. You know, like to see the, the difference in weight, the difference in height, because that's what jujitsu is all about, right? It's about leverage. It's about it's about being uh, taking a smaller guy and being able to beat a much bigger opponent. For me, I love super matches. I love single events where I can go out and I can put a show on for the fans. I think it's a it's a great way to demonstrate jujitsu. It's a great way to 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 showcase what you've been doing. It's totally different format than a super match, and um, you know, with with Polaris Pro and what they're doing, they're they're servicing a huge community um, in, in Europe and even around the world. So, you know, the opportunity that I have to go out there and, and compete for the European fans and for all the people that are been watching live, it's it's a it's an amazing opportunity. My name is AJ Agazarm, and I'm a black belt with the Gracie Bach Association, and I'll see you at Polaris.